Yeah, you're such a big fan. You interviewed us twice. Exactly. I couldn't wait to get in here. I'm so thrilled yeah. that I now have my time with Royce and Henry. Thank you so much for letting me into the room. <laughs> no, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> um, Royce, you put, up, <laughs> you put up a post on Instagram and under it, it had, can't wait for everyone to see what we've created. What have you created and what are we in for? You're in for a treat. You're in for an absolute treat. I mean, it's it's an energetic kind of dark, scary. I mean, really scary when it's scary. It's funny. It's emotional. I mean, it's got all of these things perfectly balanced through Tom's, you know, brilliant writing and through, you know, the irregulars, their energy to kind of push the story through. You know, we have the main story and these brilliant kind of side notes but it all keeps going. And I think when you think you figured it out, there's a curveball here and there's something else there. And I think from my point of view, my Watson, I wanted I wanted him to be, I wanted him to be lived in. You know, I think the Watsons I've seen in the past, I love. But the 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 definition of Watson, I think, is is the sidekick, is the kind of voice of reason, is the dog's body, which which is great. But when I read Tom's script, I thought. Yeah, this guy, this guy has to have lived. You know, I want you to, I want I want to see it on his face. I want the makeup to be to bring out the lines and the wrinkles and the dark shadows. And I want him to have I want him to have traveled and to have survived. I think that's what it is. And he's when we meet him, he's holding on to this this past and what it used to be and the relationship, what it used to be. Um, and he can't let go. And you 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 know, you find out why that is. I can't go into too much detail, but he's he's haunted by these demons and it shows. And that, that as a, that as a Watson depiction, you know, you've never seen before. So there are so many elements you haven't seen and people are going to love it. People are really going to love it. And that's what I like. I think you're going to be shocked because I, you know, I went in going, Oh, Sherlock Holmes. I know what this is going to be all about. And yeah. you, you don't. And so Henry, mm -hmm. when you get told there's a part of, Henry, uh, Henry Holmes, that he doesn't exist. Sherlock Holmes exists, though. So when you find yeah. out that you're up for the part of Sherlock Holmes, there must be a part of you that's a bit intimidated. But then when you're told you get to make him your own, how does that feel? Yeah, I mean, Tom, Tom had already taken our estimations and taken them off into a completely different, whole different um, sphere, really. So I was, you know, it was less a case of being intimidated by what, you know the kind of legacy and more just like running to keep up with the ideas that tom's churning out you know what i mean so we we, we you know we're so far from home we're so far from kansas in terms of the um the chumminess and the ease at which um sherlock and watson normally go about their business you know what i mean like all of that stuff is so far away in the in the history and, and, of, of of these characters that we're trying to rebuild they're trying to rebuild who they are as men and then some semblance of a partnership in any way, shape or form. So it's, it's a kind of deconstructed version. And, and I liken it to if you've got the, the, you know, the two icons on the mantelpiece, you swept them off the mantelpiece, they smashed on the floor and you've swept them into the old uh, dustpan and brush and you're holding them up. And that's kind of how we start our show, you know, saying what's left, what is left, to, uh, you know, of the, in these pieces. That, that actually must be so liberating. And also um, living away from home, were you in Liverpool for a year? Mm. How does that affect, I suppose, how does that affect you playing the character? Because do you get to switch off? Because you don't get to go home to your usual home. You're still around your cast and crew. And how does that affect things? I'll go to, sorry. Serena, um, I'll be honest, wait. it was... Yes, yeah, right. so really, I'll be honest, it was tough for me because I, 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 I live in Stockholm now. So I moved out there about a year and a half ago. So it was, it, it's always weird enough going away from home and being in a hotel for so long. And, and, you know, you start a new job and you meet new people. So that that takes me especially a while to, to feel comfortable. So, you know, we had, we had the shoot and then we had, you know, the pandemic and then we had the six month um, hiatus. Uh, so when we came back, we only had two weeks left to shoot, but those two weeks turned into about five, six weeks because all of the new precautions, PPE, all of these safety things, which were, you know, brilliant from Netflix. But you as an actor, what weirdly worked was, you know, I felt very 
I had so much anxiety, you know, because I had to go to airports and I had to fly and being at an airport around that time is, you know, you don't want to be there. So all this anxiety was in me and I kind of, I didn't have an outlet for it. So when I came to, you know, pick up John Watson, he has all this anxiety and he doesn't have an outlet for it. So it just helped. And I could just play this guy and we could kind of, I could live vicariously through him and he could live vicariously through me. He was kind of like my safety net. Yeah. But if it was any other character, I think I would have struggled, really struggled. The other yeah, thing it was just a, a mad, mad time. <laughs> it still is, isn't it? Um, yeah. I think I think the other thing I'd struggle with as well, because it's like it is great to see, I mean, the arts, so many industries have been hit. The arts industry is one industry that's really been hit by the pandemic. So it's really great to see that you found a way to come back and keep doing this, creating. But how did you deal with, you know, the is it every three days you have to get a, a COVID test? So like nasally, how are your nasal passages right now, Henry? I never thought I'd be asking that in an interview. Like, Yeah, they're well-traveled, <laughs> well-traveled. Um, uh, I, uh, you know, it, honestly, I, 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 I'm, it's not just a humble brag, but I, I do think that for us, we got to take, everyone's on the testing regime, but when, when, it, when they say action, we got to take our masks off. Yeah. Whereas for every mm. single crew in the department and on top of that, the directors themselves, they were like PPE'd up the entire working day, you know, like in the same way that healthcare workers were. So there's a huge amount of dedication. I think it's great that you say mm. that, that, you know, shout out to all those people make it, trying to make work and trying to make art under these, because it does take so much more effort. You know, this is a serious undertaking. This is this is like you, the the commitment involved is massive. It's not just a walk in the park. Yeah, you've you've got to really work against the elements. And luckily, you know, we had a flawless. We didn't stop. I think once we once we re uh, you know got back on our feet with all the protocols, we didn't have any setbacks. Touch wood. So the systems that Netflix and everyone put in place really worked. But it takes a whole lot of discipline from all, all the parties involved to to make that work what do you miss most about getting to be watson and about getting to be sherlock i'll start with you royce what i miss most i miss watson's directness i miss watson's kind of uh bluntness and uh his kind of his way his way of being in the world he's kind of just shut up shop and he's just kind of he does his thing and i think that's that's such a refreshing thing to play as you know as an actor he, he kind of just, he is his own man. And, you know, what, what I was saying earlier, you know, I wanted him to have been traveled and kind of world weary, but I think that kind of dictates the fact that he's, he doesn't have time for people's bullshit. He just is. Yeah. And it's great. It's refreshing. And, and Henry, what do you miss? I, I miss looking like such a badass. <laughs> like, uh, you know, with 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 Lucy, we, we 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 shaved my head about in about six different lengths. You know, shaving chunks out of it like a kind of mangy cat. And then I had, you know, we designed these tattoos um, uh, with with an amazing tattoo artist. So I was kind of covered in um, tattoos and had this shaved head. I felt like I, you know, I felt like I looked the business. And now I'm back to my um, regulation self. I miss uh, I miss I miss that look. Look, regulation self is good on both of you as well, but hopefully you'll all be right, back for you. season two and you can be experiencing it all over again. Maybe not all the anxiety though. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great yeah. to chat to you both. Thank you so much for letting me back in the room. Thank you so much. We'll see <laughs> you again. Yes, yes.